Hey, what's up guys? This is Harry Dale and welcome to Boxing Chat. So, let's go ahead and start off with the biggest news of the day and that is Canelo Alvarez has signed with HBO for a long-term deal. And when I mean long-term, you know, it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be until he retires. You know, Canelo's going to be found on HBO for the rest of his career from here on out. Starting this December against... Possibly, most likely, Joshua Cotty. So, what does this do for boxing? To me, personally, it does a lot of great things for boxing. This is going to be the start of a new era. A possible golden age in boxing. Why? Because now that Golden Boy is with HBO, it's look, to be honest, they're going to be leaving Showtime. You know, little by little, they're going to start watering it down watering it down to nobody on hbo i mean nobody from golden boy is going to be fighting on showtime and the reason is because top rank of course is with hbo but top rank and golden boy are going to be making mega fights so i mean we're just talking about canelo right now because canelo has been talked about you know he's going to be possibly facing miguel cotto also Gennady golovkin demetrius andre Chavez Jr., you name it. He's going to be facing those guys eventually on HBO. So you're talking about two of the biggest promotions finally working together under the same network, putting on the best fights. And and right now we're just talking about Canelo, but you can be for certain that pretty soon all the fighters that were fighting on Showtime recently are going to be like, fuck that. It's time to get on HBO. It's time to go where the superstar is, and that's Canelo Alvarez. Oscar De Loya said in an interview uh, today that, you know, fighters that are fighting on Showtime right now are going to be following the superstar, and the superstar is Canelo Alvarez. And without a doubt, that is going to happen. And the first fighter that I believe is going to follow suit is going to be Keith One Time Thurman. Keith Thurman has been saying for the last couple months that 2015 is going to be his year 2015 is going to be my year and you know the big fights are just right around the corner the reason why he's saying that is because he is going to leave Al Heyman I I believe this I know this in my heart that he is going to leave Al Heyman why because he has finally realized that he hasn't gotten anywhere in his career since being with Al Heyman Maybe in the beginning it was cool when he was, you know, fighting journeyman and he was still a young um, fighter who was unknown. But now it's kind of like to the point where like, what the fuck is this shit? He did, like, for example, he did an interview with uh, Ness on the boxing, the boxing voice. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out on their channel. Uh, shout out to them. It was a good interview. He said in the interview that Al Heyman will let me go to the uk and fight brooke he wouldn't mind i'm like i was like damn like like why would why would you even why it just didn't make sense to me like al Heyman will let me he's not gonna trip like what the fuck is that like he's got everybody on check and shit and i'm thinking like what what kind of what kind of person is this like he's ruining boxing straight up and then you got on the other side you know oscar de la Hoya saying I do what the fighter asks me to do, and I do whatever it takes to make the fighter happy. If Canelo wants to fight in May, September, I'm going to make it happen. Canelo said he wants to fight on HBO. He made it happen. And on the other side, you got fighters saying, oh, well, I don't think he's going to mind. And, you know, this whole conflict between between Al Heyman and, and Aram is, is, is ridiculous. Why? Because those guys are getting... I mean, come on. They're, they're fucking... They're getting left outside in the cold. Golden Boy and Top Rank are going to be making the biggest fights. Not just in the division Canelo's going to fight in, but in the welterweight division, lightweight division, junior junior welterweight, you name it, heavyweight, every division. They're going to put the best fights because they're going to have the biggest stars amongst the two promotions. And on HBO, which is the biggest stage in boxing. Showtime has been doing good lately, but overall, 
HBO is HBO is the leader in boxing entertainment. So another reason why I feel Keith Thurman is going to leave Heyman, and I don't know how that stuff works out, those legal things and contracts. Point is, he's going to go to Oscar and be like, hey, help me out, man. I want to fight exclusively for you under your promotion. Or he might say this to Aram, whoever it might be. It's not going to be Al Heyman anymore after this year. Because in an, in an interview that was uh, posted today by 78 Sports TV, he mentioned and talked about the fact that, you know, fighters that are offered a, uh, I guess, a deal or a contract to fight Keith Thurman, like let's say Alexander Guerrero Khan, whoever those fighters may have been in the past, when they were offered a fight, they simply didn't take it because they weren't, they didn't feel that they were getting enough money. And when that happens, it's because they know Keith Thurman is a real threat. But if you want your fighter to take it to the next level, if you want your fighter to really hit the top of the sport and to really get there and to really be a star, you got to put in the money. You got to, you got to pay the guys to get their ass beat a lot more. Like here, let's, you want a million? Here you go. Take a million, get your ass knocked out. And then they'll be like, well, thank you, sir. Yes, I will. I'll go, go, I'll go get my ass beat for a million dollars. Thank you very much. I mean, you know, when Cano like when they say, oh, when you're fighting Mayweather, you're getting a payday. When you're fighting Canelo, you're going to get a payday. When you're fighting Cody, you're going to get a payday. Why? Because the promoters of these fighters put the money up for the opponents to face. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why. Even back in the day, when Cotto was a rising star, when he was really starting to make his mark, you know Aaron was fucking putting in a lot of money and paying the opponents a lot of money to take that fight. Like, hey, man, take this money. I know it's hard to resist. You might get your ass beat, but it's a good paycheck. And the opponents would be like, yep, let me go ahead and sign my name right now. That's how it is. That's how it works. Keith Thurman, in a little short clip from Showtime, it was a I Am A Fighter little promo segment, whatever it is. He said, you know, pretty soon I'm going to get that million dollar opponent. When he says that, he's saying, not him making a million dollars. Well, it comes it comes both ways. Not just It's not just him making a million dollars, but his opponent making that much money as well. Why? Because they're going to be taking those fights. They're not going to take a fight against Keith Thurman when they're only getting paid a couple hundred thousand. It's, it's not enough for them. When he's saying, I'm finally going to get that million dollar opponent is whoever's taking care of my career is going to pay that opponent a million bucks or more to convince them to get in the ring with me so I can beat their ass and I can become a bigger star each and every time after each and every fight goes on. But that's not happening right now and it's not going to happen with Heyman. Keith Thurman's going to leave. Keith Thurman, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, let you guys listen to a, a short clip from interview, and the full interview is in, gonna, is in the description below. So if you want to check it out, it's a great interview. Go ahead and check it out. He talks about HBO and Showtime, and it's very, very interesting what he says. So let's go ahead and listen to that real quick, and then I'm going to finish my thoughts and wrap it up on this video. My dream. You know, ever since I was a child, you know, one day you're going to be an HBO fighter. I didn't even tell myself you're going to fight on Showtime. I said, one day you're going to be an HBO fighter. So to see that manifest and to manifest, you know, the way that it did, um, I'm just truly grateful. You know, I'm glad that uh, I got a lot of positive feedback from my performance. And uh, I'm glad that, you know, the commentators, everyone on HBO um, enjoyed the show. I was able to build up my fan base from that one fight, you know, and so I'm just really grateful and, you know, looking forward to continuing creating some knockouts on HBO. So that was very interesting. You can clearly hear Thurman's desire to be an HBO fighter, without a doubt. And, of course, this, this interview was from two years ago, 2012. So this was before the whole Golden Boy HBO, you know, relationship broke up for a bit. And then this is before he was fighting on Showtime. You know, this is right when he was um, fighting on HBO. And 
that's where he wants to be. One one quick uh, thing I want to mention is Canelo Alvarez said he's going to fight September or May. September or May. He wants to take away the dates for May, whether he doesn't care who's going to fight on those days. He says that's for the Mexican people, and he is Mexico. That's what he said. And I want to give the fans the best fights on those days. And he wants to make just one of them in pay-per-view. He's like, you know, he doesn't want to charge people a lot of money just to see him fight. He's going to get one pay-per-view and then one, one HBO Live. And I feel that's great. He also said he might fight three times a year, depending on the situation, depending on the opponents, whatever it may be. Whatever presents itself. But you can could, you could be assured he's going to fight twice. On May, in May and in September. But that also leaves a whole, you know, other 10 months of of free, I guess, free time. And HBO wants to fill in as many dates as possible in one year. Canelo Alvarez is going to, of course, be catering to the Mexican Hispanic audience because of, of course, his roots. And on those dates, those holidays. But HBO wants an American star. And Keith Thurman could be that guy. And he probably will be that guy. He would, Keith Thurman, he might fight two, three times a year as well. So when you got Canelo fighting in May and September, who else is going to fight? Well, you're going to get Keith Thurman possibly fighting on 4th of July weekend. Okay, on an American holiday where families are are all together and people aren't working and you know that's perfect and then you got you know possibly another another day in, in Thanksgiving where people are they have a couple days off for the for the holidays you know we always you always uh, every year we people watch football on Thanksgiving but we could also get a Thanksgiving weekend fight where everybody's together, the people got their days off. You know, this is this could happen. You, you could have Canelo fighting May, September, and then you could have Thurman fighting July and late November or something, some other, some holiday. You know, they, they're going to really try to have a diverse selection and op- options for the audience because that's where all the money is, is in the audience. It's entertainment. You know, for example, if Chris Algieri beats may pack out and i'm not saying he wins a decision or he wins a, a split i'm talking about he beats up pack out if algeri whoops pack out's ass knocks him out similar to what pack out did to Loya, which no one expected you know you're and that's what pack out that's when really pack out became a superstar when he beat the the way he did if algeri does the same to pack out he beats him up he cuts him up he makes him look just old and just done you you can ass- you, you can bet your ass HBO is gonna be like damn we just got a new star to cater to the American audience and yeah and yeah he Algeria is Latino he's Argentinian damn Argentina has lately just been fucking just, they're trying to take over boxing but anyways you know Algeria he he's marketable you can't deny that he's got the looks he speaks well you know. He, he just has it. He has it all. He has the personality. He just has it. But he needs to be exciting. And if he has an exciting performance against Pacquiao and beats Pacquiao's ass, you can assure yourself you're going to have another American star in Algeria. And you know HBO is going to really try to put these guys, you know, together one day and make mega fights. Not just with Canelo and other and other fighters like Chavez Jr. You're talking about. You know, Jerry Thurman, you, and you got the youngsters. Benavides is 22, 23, and Errol Spence is 24. You know, they're just a couple years younger than Thurman. Thurman's right there, too. He's 25. So you're going to be seeing the matchups between those guys as well. Thurman, Benavides Jr., Errol Spence. You got Frankie Gomez, possibly going up against Jesse Vargas sometime next year, probably in the Canelo Cotto undercard. You, you, have, you have stars. And HBO has all the ingredients to finally... Put boxing on the map, like face first, next right next to the NBA, especially here in America, right next to the NBA, right next to MLB, right next to the big sports here in the states and and around the world. So I, I'm excited. I feel like we're gonna see a, a new era and a golden age of boxing. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Until next time, see you there.